Well, the weather's gone really bad this weekend again, and uh, it gives us a really good chance, however, to check out some other people's uh, fishing jet skis. And this is a pretty unique little beast. I've got Matty Bell here from Brisbane, and he's got one of the best looking uh, Sea-Doo Fish Pros that you could possibly get. And I'm gonna, he's gonna run you through the, all the uh, features of this ski. It's very unique, and um, yeah, Matty, thanks, thanks, thanks for letting me do this. Um, so let's go through your ski. Yeah, perfect day for it. Yeah, um, we can't get out there fishing, so why not do a bit of a video about machines that catch fish? So, um, so this is my um, 2021 Sea Doo Fish Pro, which um, uh, I've got a, a good mate of mine, Jojo, who got me into the sport, and um, he's like me. I just love it. He loves it, and he had the tubbies on his Yamaha. So I ended up buying the Sea Doo. Um, both great machines. Um, for me, straight away, I immediately put on these tubbies. Um, Patrick out at Shoreline put these on. Um, for me, they've been the best thing that I've got. I can fit 22 tuna in here, literally. Uh, <laughs> wow. One point... <laughs> uh, that's, that's a bit of a load. Gee, yeah. About 100 kilos, and uh, I think it's about 1.5 metre Spanish mackerel just fit in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know you had a couple of stories where the tail was hanging out, yep. so this I managed to get the tail in, but just. <laughs> well, that's it. There's exact, I've measured it. It's about 1.5 to 1.6 uh, in length there. Inside so, the tubbies, yeah. Had a bit of a curl on the tail, but we got it in. <laughs> Excellent. Um, even even when we go to Morton for the day with the family, you might go over there and with the cool cabana, a couple of chairs and table. I mean, they fit in pretty easily. Um, so that was the biggest thing that I wanted. Um, right, so this is a 2021? Yeah. 2021 yep. Fish Pro. Uh, how many hours you got on it now? Oh, I think I'm uh, maybe 80 or 90 already. All right, so yeah. it's you getting into it. Okay, so the tubbies, on a fish pro, pretty unique. There's, I know there's another guy in, in Brisbane I've seen them with, but um, he and I were going to do a video. We didn't get around to it. Yeah. So your first cab off the rank with the tubbies. Um, so that's um, we, we know about tubbies. Um, tell us what else is on your ski, if you like. Um, second biggest thing that's been done to this is that again, Patrick, um, he's put a 40 liter fuel tank, long range fuel tank, in the front. Wow. Um, so I've got somewhere between 110 and 115 litres of fuel. Um, the bar was a bit choppy the other day at Noosa after that Tongan tsunami thing and, it, and the extra weight actually helped me get through the rough conditions. Um, so if you put the tilt on full tilt and you have that extra weight, it gives you a bit more stability. That with the two tubbies, you know, makes it very stable. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, so I felt pretty safe even though it wasn't the best conditions. So you've, I noticed that you've got a 25 watt VHF there, Matty. Well, um, that's, thank that's actually thankful to you. I saw your video about when you're offshore at Bowen Banks and um, you need to, you know, the handheld radios don't really have the coverage. Um, so after I saw that video, well, I, again, my mate Jojo, who put me onto that video and put me onto you, um, he said, you've got to get this as well. So got a 25 watt. Um, so we, we haven't been at Bowen Banks yet, but we're planning to. And even when we go out to the fads, might be 15 miles offshore, yeah. kilometers, whatever it is. Um, yeah, it's about still... 28, some of them are about 20, 30 kilometres offshore um, off, the, off the Sunshine Coast and off here definitely it's a lot further. So with that four foot, uh, four foot aerial and the 25 watt radio, you're pretty safe, you know, you're going to make contact um, pretty much wherever you are. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we go out just the one ski or most times we go out with the one ski so it's pretty important. Um, we've got the PLBs but that's just a bit of extra safety and then um, like in your video it's pretty much, you really need to get one of those if you're going out offshore fairly deep. Um, awesome, I just, while well, I'm here, the fender looks pretty cool. Um, I guess uh, you can adjust the height by going around here, yeah? Yeah, we just, I just wrap it in around once, yeah. when we dock, and, and throw the back one in. One thing about the Fish Pro, they've got really deep foot, Ooh, uh, really deep foot uh, well, so yeah, you can score that, store that sort of thing. Ah, nice, yeah, I need one of those. Although, what I've been trying to do is just avoid ramps with Pontoons. <laughs> Pontoons. Well, yeah, sometimes you get the good beach on the side, which yeah, you pull into. Yeah, yeah. I know um, Bribey's, Bribey's, Bribey's got that good. one. Bribey's good. Noose is good. Um, yeah. We got a Cleveland ramp. That's very good as well. But uh, for people who don't uh, know those places, they're all uh, Brisbane and the Sunshine Coast areas. All right, what's on the other side over here? Okay. I noticed that uh, you've got the sounder covered, which is good to see. Um, so this is a product I got from you. <laughs> And um, I've got to say, I've got to rate it very highly because I've no doubt the amount of water that's come over the top of us um, and over, that, over the actual um, fish finder, I'm sure the connections I would have had issues by now. 
Um, and I think that protects it enough that from the water and the rain and, and, and all the salt water from corrosion, um, I'm pretty sure without that that I would have, probably would have had to replace it already. So yep. worth, it, worth its weight in gold, that product, really good one. And so, some of the Garmin's, uh, this is the 662 CV, I think, and some of the Garmin's, uh, the head unit is removable from the cradle. They're even more susceptible to salt water damage. Mm -hmm. And the water gets in between the cradle and the, unit, the head unit. And um, if you don't cover those, they don't last very long at all. Well, I know while we're talking about products that I got, because I had a good look at your shop when I bought that um, and bought a couple of other things. Mm -hmm. So um, this for me, these stainless steel tethers. So everyone, when I first started fishing, everyone sort of said, grab the cord ones. Um, they've got a bit of spring. They won't wreck your, wreck your ski. Um, but I've found these to be a lot better. Um, they're stronger. I've had no issues with wrecking the ski whatsoever, so I highly rate those. They're nylon coated, so they, the actual cable itself um, is you know, padded, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's a good product. And one of your products, again, while we're talking about your products, um, I had my, my Esky, one of the sides came off when we were off Noosa, and I had to jump back in the water and, and I actually put it back onto the ski, so it wasn't... Um, wasn't my favourite thing. I, I, I was able to get in. I didn't jump out in the middle of the ocean, but I was able to get into a bit shallower. Um, but straight away, I looked at what we could do to sort of fix that. And these clips, um, they're, they're a safety lock that hold it in. They run off the plug here of the actual um, the coolers. And um, again, so now no issues since then. If you've jumped in the water and had to fix one up, you'll <laughs> buy one of these Quick Smart because it's a really good idea. So it's uh, amazing. You've got a lot of storage with the the Fish Pros standard esky and, and the top on it as well so you've got a lot of storage there all right here's the big one tell us about this little beauty okay the minkota the minkota so um, after pulling in 60 meters of rope from the side of a jet ski a couple of times when we've anchored up at reefs and the current changes a little bit and you're off your marker um, you get a bit sick of pulling the, the rope in because it can change just like that so thought why not put a minkota on and um, i saw that a couple of there were a couple that had been done. I saw a guy had a pretty good setup and he had one down the side. Mm -hmm. um, I saw another one off the back as well, but I sort of wanted something different. So I had a chat to Anthony from Jet Leads and um, we came up with an idea, concept together. Um, he fabricated it, he did the actual work and made it and did a great job. And he's, he's slightly offset a bit of weight here. There's a third lithium battery in the actual ski and the weight of that with the weight of this, which is 10.5 kilos, it just offsets each other and it's perfectly balanced. Um, nice, nice. Very easy to take off as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a couple of clips. Wow. Ooh. That's very easy. <laughs> a, bit, a bit too easy. <laughs> All right, we'll leave that on. Great. And, um, so that's using the uh, link uh, mounts for the, that's great, yeah. And then it nice just- Nice design. Uh, he's just made a nice little Anderson plug just in here. So Anderson plug, okay, yep. And we just literally just plug that in and it, um, it runs off that third battery, which is separate to the other two batteries, mm -hmm. but it is part of the charging system. Right, so you'll keep it charged. Yeah, um, but it won't drain it because it is still independent. Okay, yep. So, which is really good. So what's, what's the uh, specs on your Minn Kota there, Matty? Um, so it's about 10 and a half kilos and um, it's pretty much just, it's loaded a bit so when we're chasing tuna it doesn't bounce too much. Okay, yep. Um, I am going to put another little latch on it just to double make sure. Um, but it pretty much just slides out, like we, when you're in the back you just pop that, bring it out, drop it oh, down. Oh nice, yeah, yeah. And um, you've got a remote. And so you've got spot lock on this one? Yeah, this one you just, yeah, straight into, turn it on. Um, put your, when, get, when you get to your marker or your spot, put, put your spot lock, lock on, sends it up to the satellite, locks you in place and um, yeah. So makes it a lot easier because on a jet ski pulling in 60, 80 metres of ropes are on your yeah, anchors. Yeah, well, myself, I, I won't anchor anything over about 20 metres. So that's why I've got so many engine hours because I keep the engine running, that's my spot lock. <laughs> and, and I've been doing the exact same thing. We keep going back, drifting over, back yeah. and forwards, yep, yep. Um, which still works works well. But um, this is this is the yeah, way to go, isn't it? So Matty's just plugging it in to show us. <laughs> That's I now I heard some beeps. Nice. And what's the thrust on this one? Is it a 55 Ooh, or 48? Good question. <laughs> and I don't know the answer. Oh. Looks, looks, yeah. 
probably it probably wouldn't need much more than the smaller size anyway for a ski but um nice mounting yeah but yeah. interesting to see you uh, when you get out in the water and show us how it goes yeah They're pretty much just one lever and a lift hey yeah just pop straight back in nice yeah that's great yeah so it's got it's also got a quick release pin here so if i do want to leave this unit on um, i can literally just pull that pin out pull this off and it, this this section comes off so it's really clever the way that he's designed it and i'm um, yeah i'm sure that he'll be making a lot more of these this was the first one that he made mm -hmm. um, and i have no doubt it will be going into production because he's done a really good job so that's jet leds yep jet okay. leds and he's put in lighting in your ski too i believe yeah yeah he um put the nav lights in the front and the squid lights at the back what do you got the squid lights there i'll just go and turn these on okay oh yeah oh. So there's um, nav lights so they, a um, couple of buttons in here, they just oh. push it on there. Looks like uh, switches that Shoreline put in too, and they're on, on my ski. Yeah, they um pretty clever. You can get the um, the white, you know, night light as well. Um, I know JetLeds puts one at the back, but I've, I've got one like yourself that... Railblazer? Uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. enough for, you That's know. all you need, isn't it? And then it's out of the way when you're fishing. That's what I found is I can take it down and, you know, uh, take the rear light down, it's out of the way. Yeah, I, I think also with these, with the cedar is what I like, and a few people have talked about it, obviously, but the space at the front as well. Mm -hmm. So when you've got this space, you've got two tubbies, 51 litre esky, and um, all of the tackle here. So there's just a lot of, lot of space, a lot of room, whether you're camping or fishing or, or whatever you're doing. So yeah, it's like a mini boat. So some people say, why buy a boat? But it's not the same. You can't chase tuna. You can't load it as easy yourself and, and, and bring it back in off the ramp. So, yeah, I'd never trade it for a boat personally, but um, it is starting to look a little bit like a boat. <laughs> so these add-ons um, for the Link coolers, um, they had a little design fault where they didn't sit flush. So um, Patrick, again at Shoreline's, put these little clips on them. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, the, um, right, yeah. Um, so they're really good. They're really essential. I was getting a lot of water in the actual cooler. Um, so what's that doing? It's clamping it down properly so the water... I uh, can't get inside. Yeah, it just yeah. seals around here. It, it actually bows out like that if it gets a bit of heat and, right. and, right. and doesn't quite sit flush. Um, so he did a really good job just recently and he fixed that up. Um, for us, so when we're out fishing, this has got all my um, lures, tackle, um, leader. So very easy to access. Um, yeah, makes life a lot easier for me. If I'm going crabbing or something, I can put tackle in here or in the front storage, a lot of storage in the front. Uh, but if we're going out chasing tuna or reef fish, then we'll, um, it's very easy and accessible here. So it's a good spot to have all your tackle. Um, so that one's really handy. I saw this product, which is uh, just pretty simple, just a bit of metal that they've welded a few lugs on the bottom. All right, it sits in the... Oh, nice. It's a nice uh, dry tray. And, and pies, good pies. So no salt water on the pies. We had our first time we used that, we finally got to eat a pie that wasn't salty. <laughs> Very so good. worth its weight in gold as well. Another good product. Lots of uh, GoPro um, mounts using the Railblazer. So you're obviously going to do a bit of video soon. Yeah, I yeah. think you've got a bit, haven't you? Got inspiration. Um, channels like Jet Fisher, um, even going back to the old days, Leyland Brothers, Malcolm Douglas. <laughs> okay. um, I still watch it to this day, those shows. So yeah, so I've got a bit of footage, put something together and um, have a bit of fun with it and I don't think I'll have sort of the big followings of some of the channels like yourself um, but I reckon a few family and friends will jump on board and have a look so yeah, a bit sure. of fun. Yeah well thank you very much for showing us through your wonderful sea uh, Batty, that, that looks fantastic, there's a lot of great accessories on there, a lot of good ideas. I wish you success with your own uh, YouTube channel coming up. Thank you What's Paul. It, what, have you got a name for it yet? Yeah, yeah, Vision Homes Jet Ski Adventures. Vision Homes Jet Ski Adventures. Subscribe when it's up, or is it up? Uh, it's up. I've got oh, to put a video. I've got to get a video there first, but um, got a bit of inspiration today, so I've got a bit of footage there. So okay. get a few stuff, bit bit of stuff over the next you know month or two. I think yeah. be able to get a few episodes. I think you've got probably better plans than me. Actually, I was just looking at what you're planning to do. So yeah, it should be interesting. Wish you all luck. Thank you very much again. Thanks, Paul. Pleasure. Right. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. And I'll catch you next time.